Hello, Professor Bright here. Welcome back to the Sunless Sea, where we have business to attend to. Sort of. Actually, a delivery I want to make. We're going to go over to the not that Isle of Cats because we have a Venturer's Mark that we need to return to the lovely people there so that they may pay us, in theory, hopefully. I can't remember if they pay me money or not, but at the very least, they supply red honey, which I am very willing to throw at people because, you know, money. Even if it is a terrible, disgusting substance created through a inhumane process, it's still worth a lot of money, so I'm kind of okay with that. Also, noticed you guys are very, uh... A lot of people want me to support the Calendar Council over on the surface. Now, personally, I'm not inclined towards anarchy, but on the other hand, they pay money, apparently. And I do like money, and the... Well, how do I want to phrase this? The forces that control that area did not pay me money. I do take offense to that. This idea that I am somehow too good to get paid? No. No, that's not a thing. That is the opposite of a thing. You are never too good to get paid. Also, I have st strategic information. Strategic information? Not actually a word. Strategic information. I should turn into vital intelligence. But I keep suspecting that I'm going to be hit by spies, and if they steal vital intelligence, that is just so much worse. Hey! <laughs> wow! That is amazing. Just perfect timing right there. Spy walks the ship. Uh, yeah, we're probably not going to catch them, but here's hoping. Yep, lost tr strategic information. Well then. Maybe I should have just headed back. I was debating making a trip back to London just with what we have, but... Yeah. Oh well. I'm gonna drop by Nuncio because, I mean, we're right here, so why not? Also, hi. Oh, no, stop. Don't do that. Never do that. That's a tramp steamer. Could technically try to kill it, but, you know. Why bother? Because there's loot involved, but mostly I'm not gonna worry about that because... Hi, it's a rat barge. Well. You I am gonna worry about because you're actually somewhat hostile. I mean, not very good at being hostile, but, you know, you are there. And it's only, what, five shots at that at that rate? Yeah, thereabouts. And, yep. I am more maneuverable than the rat barge. It's not a very good barge. Although, in their defense, it is crewed by, I assume, thousands of rats? All of whom need to be coordinated in order to fire anything. So, you know. It's reasonable. Ooh, and scuttle it. Yeah, turns out the seas aren't safe. For everybody else. Anyway, back to what I was doing, which was going to Nuncio. Picking up a port report. Maybe chatting with the postman. Maybe. Possibly. I absolutely will be chatting with them. Just on the off chance that something good comes from there. Assemble our port report. Lovely. Um, is there a reason to do more shift work? I'm not going to pay anything. Uh, could get a Radis Faber assistant. That is an option. I've already made a study of what goes on in the back room, haven't I? Let's do that. Hmm. Finer distinctions. The Postal Rat is forever making improvements to the machine, making it more able to distinguish between similar types of package, more sensitive to the age and significance of the contents. The current project requires encoding the entire contents of Slowcake's exceptionals into a drum of punched metal, so that the machine will be able to recognize correspondence to or from persons of note, and set it into its own proper basket. Okay, that seems insane. But hey, if you can pull it off, go for it, little man. I think I'm done, though. Anything at the tavern? Could ask to borrow a uniform. They aren't going to let me do that. Ooh. Talk about the caverns below the dead letter office. Someone must know something or be curious. Hmm. Oh. Interesting. Perhaps not. You don't get far into your question before the hairless postwoman stands up and goes over to the fire, 
holding herself tightly. She is whispering, nothing coherent. Fire, clean, smooth, down to the bone, no excuse. Smooth, smooth, little black hairs. Still your fool tongue, says Blunt Thomas. Ah. I'll trade war stories to get a bit more trustworthy. At least according to this. Ooh. That seems new. Common ground, the parcels you've weighed and entered in logbooks, the things that oozed out of them. The postmen are delighted by your incredulity and shock. A civilian, finally understanding the full horror of the post. They have stories in worse than those, let me tell you. Hang on a moment. Postmaster Scritch, we've all heard your rubbery lump story already. It's nothing to the tomb colony pickles. Pickled what is what I want to know. What about that Sooth and Cooper crate and how we had to scrape the bits of the masonry? Oh. Bits off the masonry. Bits of what from Sooth and Cooper? Mmm. I wish to know. But that will be all for now. Oh, no. Can't spend all day at Nuncio. At least I'm told I can't. Shouldn't is the proper term. Okay. And I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Nope, not quite. It's not quite absolutely the wrong way. So we're going to keep going this way. Oh, yep, that little tamp tramp steamer. Tamp streamer? Not a thing. Still not a thing. But that is neither here nor there. Uh, one moment, please. There we go. And, okay. Almost there. We will be there eventually. I do want a better engine. And I almost have... I mean, I have the cargo space to get my hands on the stuff I need to get a better engine. It's just a matter of how I'm going to get to Frostfound and survive. Also, can't help but notice this dock. It looks to be... Carved stone? Oh. Hello. Message for Zyra. How's the venture? Still a rubbery man. He isn't? Are you quite sure? The lady of the cages rubs her cheek. Maybe that part comes later. I shall have to make a note. <laughs> Hand her the medallion. Urchins again? I'll tell the sisters to prepare the baths. A reward sent to your ship. Ooh, nice. Very nice. I like this reward. Thank you, Zyra. You're actually, you know, paying me for my services. Thanks. Sad that I have to actually thank people for that because not everybody does. Apparently the surface thinks it's too good to actually pay me. Anyway. I'll have a reward sent to your ship. Don't worry, ask the sisters to pick. Can't seem to remember what's edible and what isn't these days. Zara gives a sudden start and demands, Can you fry wine and batter? I don't see why not. She stalks hurriedly out of the room, muttering about asking the abbess. No. You cannot. Probably can't. Tending the rose garden, though. Before you is a garden washed with blood. A sea of petaled crimson. They say these particular exiles' roses are a variety crossbred with a flower from hell. That would explain the stench of brimstone underneath the sweetness. Winding paths lead to irregular rows of cages, each covered in a tangle of thorn and vine. Some of the prisoners inside the cages call out to you. Others mutter to themselves or weep. A few simply stare, hopeless and silent. Good, you're here. Zara snips a rose head with her shears. I'd like a new addition to the garden. Could I borrow one of your crew? Well... Have one, really. I doubt you'd want them back after. Gall-eyed engineer. I don't know where those come from. Could offer her a prisoner. <laughs> wow, this is just so happy. Let's see here. Uh, I could refuse, but that's going to lock me out of this quest. So I'm going to offer her a crewman. I just happen to have brought one with me. Handy, that. <laughs> oh, I am terrible to these people. Memories of Sultan Z. Hmm, she'll do nicely, won't you? Yes, I think so. Yes. Have you had a little accident, my dear? No matter, the flowers smell like ammonia. I'm sorry. No matter, the flowers like the ammonia. Oh, she pissed herself. This is a nice place. So kind-hearted people. <laughs> oh, dear. Yep, so very kind-hearted these people are. Anyway, more supplies. Lovely, that. Was running a bit low. 
So thank you. And let's, uh, walk. Yes, well. Huh. Let's bring him his gift, I suppose. No reason not to. But before we do that, uh, oh, wow. Oh, yes, it's a little bit expensive, isn't it? I could have sold sunlight here. Yeah, I, hmm, I really should. Is there a place I can buy? No, I can't buy it. I can't buy the, um, mirror catch boxes here. If I remember right, you can get them at Guider's Morn. Someone will correct me on that one, because, you know, memory. I've never had good memory, let's be honest here. But now that we've gone here, where else do we want to go? Um, I mean, normally I would go north. I mean, I suppose I could just wrap around Polythreme, pick up the stone people there. Godfall, actually, we can get rid of our wine there, so yeah. A northerly trip makes sense. Stop over at Visage to get the port report. And then we will go from there. What exactly will I do? No idea. Barely an idea. The beginnings of an idea at best. But yeah. Figure... Oh. Hmm. Eh, I don't want to fight. And you can't find me at all. So I'm not going to worry about that. Ah, oh, you found me. Well, isn't this a bit of a problem? No. Oh, no, we shall not go ashore. Sorry, you're a fascinating place, but just not really in that kind of mood at the moment. Oh, hey, you're stuck. Oh, I can be convinced to just shoot you down. You're no longer stuck. That is not good. That is unideal. But, okay. He's fine. He's fine. Just keep shooting flares. It's really helping you, man. Doing great stuff. And shoot. Yep, that buoy. It's really sad that they're stuck on that, but you know what? I'm okay with that. Just keep launching flares. That's really going to help you. Nope, can't shoot over it. And come on. Just take a little more. Thank you. Just scuttle it. I don't get... Okay, good. I was going to say, just scuttle it. I don't get anything out of that. But now I got fuel. Not much fuel, actually. Seven fuel. I guess it's a lot, but at the same time I spend fuel killing them, so it's like... Is this worth it? Not really. Like, kind of is. But, eh. Eh, I say. The Afrox channel looking gorgeous as always. I am kind of curious why the rose petals... I'm going to say those are rose petals. Coming off of the Reef of Roses, but... Well. Not really our concern at the moment. I haven't explored Khan's shadow very much. That's weird. Oh, you know, I could... Hmm. I could go to Savior's Rocks. I haven't... I've barely ever gone there. So, that might be where we go next. Just as part of our tour of the area. Have I been there more than once? No, I don't think I have, actually. It was our first time finding Savior's Rocks. Not too, too long ago. A little bit ago. Should have probably given the all clear earlier. Although there is the concern about terror. And yeah, we'll be fine. Con Shadow, give me your port report. Do you guys have mirror catch boxes? It would be great if you did. Nope, don't have double bone dice. You'll buy them, but you don't have them. And there's our empty mirror catch box. Unideal pricing, but fair enough. Hmm. Gonna hold on to that for now. Okay. Yeah, I think we go... Hmm. Is this anything I need to worry about? Not really. I mean, we've got plenty of supplies. We've got 34 supplies, 22 fuel... Should be fine to go through here. Yeah, just straight on to Savior's Rocks, and we'll see what's there. Do have one Foxfire Candle, so... I could technically explore the Wreck of the Nocturne up here. But there's no reason to do that, as far as I know. 
far as I know, there's no sort of quest or interesting thing associated with it. Besides the fact that it was taken over by spiders and is horrifying to look at. But beyond that, not that interesting. Yep, those are spiders. Just crawling over that island. Just giant spiders. Fairly gross. But thank you. That's, uh... Exactly what I needed to see. Yep. Love this place so much. Afraid of spiders? No, no. Not me. I'm, uh, Not at all. Just disgusted by them. By the mere fact that they exist. I know they serve a useful ecological purpose. That one just straight up flew. Just flew across the island. Are we gonna are we gonna talk about that? No? Cool. Anyway, like I said, know that spiders are technically useful, you know, from an ecological standpoint. Don't care, still disgusted by them. Their mere existence is just horrifying to me. Don't know why exactly, but, uh, not a fan. Not a fan of their existence. I'm just gonna spend a little time staring at- oh god. Duh. Sorry, felt like something was crawling on my leg. Ugh. Anyway, docking. Still preparing for that festival of yours. I could trade supplies for silk. And I think I will do that. Although, first of all, take the wine. <laughs> Trinkets. Yes. That's what they are. Hmm. You know what? One moment. Let me see here. What was the Venturer's deal? Venturer, he wanted something, 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 something. Where is the Venturer's desire? Parabola linen or seven pieces of Stygian ivory. Hmm. Had I been clever, I would have kept my money and gone over to the Chalinate. That probably would have been an idea. Oh well. Oh, uh, we could meet with an emissary of spiders. I mean... Sure. Why not? He has witnessed much, yet seen nothing since the sorrow spiders he serves harvested his eyes. Mmm. Okay. Ah, my good sir, or is it madam, or another salutation, perhaps. Pardon my ignorance. He taps his blindfold. The honor of serving the acrimonious masters does somewhat leave one at a disadvantage in matters of detail. He smiles. Blind to light is not, however, deaf to rumor. I wonder, might I prevail upon the good-natured individual I have heard contributed so much to our little festival? Splendid. Splendid. Uh, oh, gross. He leans in close. My benefactors have charged me with seeking a special sustenance for a special occasion. I am sure... <laughs> oh, dear. I'm sure an experienced zailer such as yourself sees through the necessary euphemism. Shall we say... Unfortunates of little future, such as your tomb colonists, were perhaps a select few to find a different destination for the greater good, I can promise more than fair compensation for any subsequent regrets. Wonderful. You may be able to obtain trusting tomb colonist tourists at Venderbite if you've assisted them in the past. Cool. Great. Oh, you've been to Venderbite. Perhaps this is doing them a favor, so they can get eaten by spiders. Great. Yep, that's that's a favor. Thanks. Please, never do that favor for me. Ever. Okay. We'll explore the scuttering reaches, but I need a... I need a moment. This place is... very unsettling for me in particular. So for now, thank you for your time. Note the like, comment, and subscribe buttons below. Use them responsibly, and I will see you all soon.